feeling like a foreigner, feeling excluded, feeling like you are in another world than others, feeling like you don't belong. I was born in Querétaro, a city in Mexico in between South Korean parents who came to the country more than 20 years ago. I am also currently going to an international school with students from 25 different countries. My whole life I have been living in the same city and visited South Korea almost every summer for nearly two months, which roughly adds up to 11 months being there. Because of this, I have encountered a variety of cultures and am a multicultural kid. Being a multicultural kid, I have knowledge on different cultures and have experienced cultural differences throughout my whole life. However, I still find it really hard to feel like I belong. Do I belong to the South Korean community or the Mexican community? It may seem ironic because it seems as if I should know both cultures well enough to know where I belong, but I still don't. So what can we all do to make others feel like they belong and that they are included? I have had amazing opportunities to meet a variety of multicultural and monocultural people through international events such as Model United Nations, and have created friendships worldwide, all with distinct cultural backgrounds. In addition to meeting those new friends, I interact on a daily basis with multicultural and monocultural people who are my friends that I met in Querétaro. Some moved to Mexico when they were little, some were born in Mexico, just like me, and others moved to Mexico when they were teenagers. While talking with all those incredible human beings, I have realized that I don't have to necessarily identify with one single community. I can identify with the South Korean community and the Mexican community while belonging to both of them. Also, I don't only belong to those two communities, but instead, as stated by the German researcher named Erkan Goren, I belong to a worldwide multicultural family of over 40 million people. Thanks to these interactions and realizing that I don't have to belong to one single community, I now know that we as humans are not that different from each other regardless of anything that makes us different. At the end of the day, we are all human beings living on this floating planet called Earth, hoping to live our best lives. In addition to these realizations, I have also realized that we can all do something to make others feel like they belong. So, what are those things? I would like to mention three of them based on my personal experience. So let's get started. Number one, personalize. When I meet people for the first time, the first thing most of them ask me is, where are you from? And I completely understand their curiosity and know there are no harmful intentions behind it but it seems as if they're really saying, you don't seem like you belong here, so where are you really from? This makes me feel sad and excluded because it seems as if they're viewing me as an outsider, even though I am present in the community as a part of it. It also makes me think that they're not viewing me as who I am as an individual, as Haimin, if not as a nation, which is a huge community. When we think about any first common interaction, the conversation begins with, what is your name? But 
Why does this have to change when interacting with a multicultural or any person with different physical features? Well, there is no reason for this change. So, how can we stop doing this? Whenever we approach someone, let's ask them their name and get to know them on a personal level. Their ideologies, their hobbies, their favorite song, or any other personal aspect. This will definitely make the other person feel like they belong and more comfortable. By saying, tell me a little bit more about yourself, opens up a dialogue that is inclusive and respectful. Number two, balance. Sometimes when I'm talking with another, another person, I ask them, what is your favorite song? Do you listen to the band Queen? And other questions to get to know them on a personal level, while the other person asks me, what is it like being Korean? Which I have no idea how to answer. What is my name in Korean? Which is the same, if you were wondering. And other questions related to the South Korean culture, which is the one they think I represent without knowing my cultural background. This type of conversation, similar to the question, where are you from, makes me feel like a foreigner and question if they truly care about who I am, even though I know that there are no bad intentions behind it. However, I'm not saying that if you want to know about somebody else's culture, you shouldn't ask. It's the complete opposite. If you want to know about it, it's amazing to show interest and ask about it. And now you're probably confused and thinking, then what are you saying we should do if you first said that it makes you feel like a foreigner and are now saying that it is amazing? Well, let's not make the whole conversation about the culture itself. Let's find a balance between the cultural and personal aspects in it. By getting to know the person on a personal level, a much better human-to-human -human connection and interaction will be created, allowing the person to open up about their cultural and personal aspects. This will lead to a much better connection and it will help you realize that we, as humans, are not that different from each other. Number three, connect. Sometimes, or most of the times, when I'm walking down the street, I hear somebody say, Ni hao, which means hi in Mandarin Chinese. I keep walking, thinking to myself, oh, maybe there's someone from China nearby. Cool. And I hear it again, louder this time. Ni hao. Now, I'm interested if there is someone from China nearby and start looking around. But I don't see any other Asian around me. And I'm confused. Me? Is that person saying hi to me? That's when I see somebody looking at me, waiting for a response. To this, I react by saying, Hola, este es chino mandarín y yo soy de Corea del Sur, which means, Hi, that is Mandarin Chinese and I am from South Korea in Spanish, or I even simply walk away because I have no idea what to say. In various cases, People think that the Asian continent consists of only China. One out of the 48 countries in Asia today as stated by the United Nations. So let's not generalize that all Asians are grouped together and are the same because we are not. In relation to this, they're multicultural people who are actually not fluent in the languages that originate from their cultural background.
So let's be careful and thoughtful before saying hi in what appears to us to be their first language. I myself speak three languages, Korean, Spanish, and English, which I have no memory of learning, but have a lack of perfection in them. There are words and phrases that are unfamiliar to me, and I sometimes have to use a translator of some type in order to understand. This makes me feel even more distant and excluded because I do not understand everything that is being said around me at all moment. Having this in mind, when people repeatedly ask me to translate one word or phrase to another in another language, and I cannot do it in the instant, they look at me with disappointed eyes, which makes me feel even more disappointed about myself and like I don't belong. So let's remember that we are all human and there are things that we cannot do instantly. To wrap up, remember the three things we can all do to make others feel like they belong. Number one, personalize. Get to know people on a personal level. Number two, balance. Find a balance between the cultural and personal aspects in a conversation. Number three, connect. Remember we are all human and not that different from each other, even though it seems as if we are. Now, go out there and make somebody feel like they belong. Thank you.